Okay, so I have a uh, Western Digital, uh, my passport. Okay, if you can see that, it's a box. It's a two terabyte hard drive. And uh, you can see the model number. Okay, and I'm going to just disassemble that. Okay, it just comes with a cable, doesn't come with anything else. It comes with you know, junk. And it's got a USB 3. Okay, this is a little different. And it's backwards compatible with the USB uh, 2. So you could plug in a micro USB and it'll still work. And at the other end, it's standard. So I'm going to disassemble it, okay? And I would recommend using one of these pry tools. Okay, there are other ones. Just like that. But, uh... Alright, so I'm just going to start prying it open. I wore out the other uh, pry bar. From other tasks, from taking apart pretty much everything. And then what you want to do is, this here, the whole circuit board and the hard drive and everything's attached here. It's, well, it's hooked onto this little thing here. It's hooked onto the uh, connector here. So you want to be careful, you want to just take the whole thing out. Okay, so there's a, just make sure you don't break this guy that's uh, connected there. And also this whole thing just comes right out. It just comes right out. So the only thing that's it's attached is these one, two, three, four bumpers here. You can see that. These little guys. Okay, so there's four of these, and they're attached to these circles here. Okay, so the four screws with the uh, rubber bumpers there goes in there one, two, and three, and four. They're the same. So the two terabyte uh, my passport inside is a Western Digital two terabyte, and there's a model for you to look at. You could pause to to look at them. It's uh, five volts, uh, seventy five some point seventy five amps, which is seven hundred fifty milliamps. So you really need a uh, good a good um, 
uh, powered hub. Make sure that the uh, powered hub that you're using uh, supports that, and you can plug it directly into a computer. Some computers don't support that. Like I have a netbook that doesn't really power it properly. But if you have a good, strong uh, laptop, it should work. Okay. And the interface, the uh, USB 3 interface, is actually directly built into the uh, circuit board that's connected to the hard drive, so you can't change it. You can't use this uh, for anything else. Okay, so again, it's directly, the interface is directly soldered onto the uh, circuit board. Okay. Otherwise, it's uh, it's otherwise other uh, identical to regular uh, two and a half inch uh, hard drive. It's got the same screw holes as a standard two notebook drive. Okay. Um, it's also uh, a little thicker. I'll show it to you next to a uh, standard drive. So here is a standard notebook drive. This is a the same as Washington Digital one terabyte drive, standard notebook drive, and you can see the My Passport. It's not going to fit. It's most likely not going to fit. In a uh, notebook. Okay, so if you have a small laptop netbook or a notebook, it might not fit. Okay, you can see it's like, you know, good amount thicker. Okay, it should otherwise fit the other dimensions. You know, fit the same length and uh, width. Just the thickness is much more. So to reassemble it, again, you want to you know, attach this first. Okay, make sure the USB sticks out of the hole. And also, it can rest on these uh, these here. So it's got it's got four of these. Make sure that the uh, bumpers rest on it. The screws rest on that, and then put it back together. Okay, it should just snap together. Okay, so it just snaps right back together. Uh, these are not screw holes. So I, I've, uh, first thing I did was pinch these out and um, it's just nothing. Okay, so my passport, it's, uh, it's just the other side. Okay.